It's the new jewel in the crown at the Gerolsteiner Brunnen Mineral Water Bottlers, their new line for returnable glass. The tandem line is not only a replacement for its aging predecessor, but also the harbinger of a whole new era. So the requirements specified for the new line were correspondingly stringent. Higher capacity, better efficiency, upgraded quality levels, and, not least, improved human engineering for the staff. The new line from Krohn's makes all of this possible. At the dry end, the empties arrive on pallets, whereupon they are depalletized by a module pal and fed to the wet end on conveyors. The Liner Pack 2 unpacks the empty bottles and places them on the conveyor. Here is one of the first highlights of Gerolsteiner's new bottling line. The machine is fitted with a fully automatic handling part changeover feature, which replaces the Liner Pack 2's gripper head with its centering frame, and the lane divider plates as well. This not only reduces the operator's workload, it also provides enhanced flexibility and concomitant gains in efficiency. The fully automated handling parts changeover capability also covers the vibrator and the bottle table. The gripper head and the centering frame are linked together using a hook system. This unit is coupled to the guide plate cage with the vibrator and the stopper rail. The entire set is fetched from the magazine when required for a product changeover routine, which can be performed in its entirety by just a single operator. The empties are then passed to the rotomat, where any screw caps are removed. All foreign bottles are rejected here using an upstream inspector with a retaining star wheel. The bottles then proceed seamlessly to the Sekamat. This inspector checks the bottles for scuffing. Prevention of bottle wear was a major priority for the entire line. Only bottles of the requisite high quality will be passed to the washer. Here, the bottles are distributed among the transport pockets and immersed in a hot caustic bath kept at 80 degrees. Over the course of six jetting phases, the bottles are gradually cooled down. Once the washing process has been completed, the line at Gerolsteiner serves up the next highlight. The line scanner inspects the washed bottles and checks their temperature. If the temperature of a particular bottle deviates from the others by more than three degrees, this row of pockets in the bottle washer can be deactivated by the operator. One reason for this kind of deviation may be a dysfunctional jetting nozzle. After this has been cleaned, the row of pockets is reactivated. Another of the line's highlights can also be found at the bottle washer. Redundant filters have been integrated upstream of all jetting units. They remove any coarse dirt from the caustic, which protects the nozzles from soiling. When one filter is being cleaned, the system continues to operate using the second filter. The washed bottles are then passed through the Linotronic inspector, where sidewalls, base and ceiling surface are checked for soiling and damage, and rejected where necessary. Bottles with a mineral ring are treated with acid in a separate washer before being returned to the arriving empties. All the intact bottles are filled and closed in the module fill at speeds of up to 19,000 1 litre bottles and an impressive 36,000 0.25 litre bottles an hour. Here at the filler, we see another interesting innovation. The client stipulated that scuffing was to be minimised or prevented throughout the entire line. At the module fill, this is accomplished using a stopper star wheel that, in the event of a malfunction, for example, gently decelerates the bottles upstream of the infeed worm. These and other technologies prevent the formation of unsightly scuffing marks on the glass bottles. The downstream check mat inspects the bottles for correct fill level and closure presence. The contents of the filled bottles are inspected in the next highlight of Gerolsteiner's line, the roto check. 
where the product is accelerated to 800 revolutions per minute and then decelerated in 14 milliseconds, thus rendering visible any suspended particles or glass fragments inside the bottle. The ingenious bit about the new line, however, is the test bottle program, used for all check mats and inspectors. The bottles are fitted with an RFID ring on which the type of error involved is stored. So now, when a bottle is rejected, the operator can verify whether the rotocheck has also analyzed the built-in error. This serves to assure effective self-monitoring. In the top module labeler, the bottles are dressed in cold glue labels. Here too, the staff's workload has been downsized. With the new top module version, the label magazines need to be topped up only once in four hours, thanks to the automated magazine change feature. The position of the labels is inspected in a check mat attached to the top module labeler. If a label is skewed by more than 2%, the bottles will not be allowed to reach the retailers. What's more, the check mat verifies whether and what best before date has actually been printed. The bottles are now transported to the Liner Pack 2, where, with each stroke, the gripper head picks up the requisite bottles and deposits them into five waiting crates at a time. The crates are then palletized for dispatch using the ModulePal machine.